Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Tip Tricks and Tech. Today we're going to do another video on Larex, our 4K NVR system. Um, today I'm going to uh, show some settings that you need to do after setup uh, because uh, if you don't do it uh, properly, otherwise you're gonna see a lot of uh, false notification on your phone and that's gonna annoy you like I used to. Let's go and check out our uh, events uh, or motion detection, person detection, all those settings. So let's dive in. Okay, so that's my six cameras. I have been connected uh, these two cameras here, uh, which I, I don't need it. Uh, I have more than enough. This one is for basement, which I'm not, you know, when I'm going away, I will connect that. And this one is extra. So I basically I need only six. So then you go main menu right here. Then you're gonna put your system password. Okay, you click okay to get in. So that's your uh, settings, uh, main settings. We have playback here. You have events here and you have backup display camera settings so we have playback here if you want to do the playback uh, you can go back the date i have the uh, uh what do you call it? the recording since 18th to 24. so that about six days and uh, and you have a display settings uh in all those things that's uh, regular settings and uh, you have system settings general settings date and time holiday I'm just showing you all this thing and just uh, you know to get an idea of what's in there and this all your cameras connected and all those things that you can do the you know settings but i'm here to do the main event settings so event settings we're gonna click smart motion okay and uh, make sure you go event settings uh, face detection i put it for vehicle detection on and if you want to click the motion detection and we're gonna select camera one uh, which is my front camera and if you want to set it you set click set so as you can look at it so I have the red that means this area right here so for that uh, the sensitivity is about 50 and I put threshold uh, 75 so uh, depending on the need um, I think that for me these settings are accurate and also the one thing that you have to make sure you see that yellow that I don't want any notification getting on that yellow. So for that yellow, that's the second right here. You have to click here and make sure your sensitivity all the way down and you keep your threshold all the way up so that uh, you would get any notification on this yellowish area. So the notification, I want to get it on this red. So you click here and I put sensitivity 50 and I'm going to go up uh, my <clears throat> threshold to 80 okay let's click 80 so that's 80 okay then you can right click it and you can click apply so that will set it to your uh, uh, and apply and then make sure if you want to show the message on the TV uh, you can click this it's kind of annoying uh, because you're gonna get a snapshot if you click that you will get a snapshot uh, in your phone uh, with that notification um, and uh, to channel two and make sure you put enable motion detection okay and you click this settings right here same thing this is my uh, region uh, that I want to get a notification which is red and this one I don't want to see any notification so same thing I click red 65 45 that's my sensitivity uh, you know depend on the area you have to play around because it's not really uh, uh, similar to all this um, areas that you're gonna have so make sure um, you know you adjust it according to your need I'm just gonna go up on this because um, I'm getting some nuisance on this uh, notifications from here so that's why I'm going up okay so then you right click it you apply it here okay and you're gonna see record channel so make you know when you trigger it you wanted to record the channel that's why it's right here so you need to record channel if you want to send an email you can click this and then it will send an email uh, but you don't need I don't need a notification like 20 different uh, thousand times the notification like video loss uh, if you lose your video and uh, then they will send you a short message uh, or send email things like that so if you let's say if you 
lose uh, your uh, video feed on a uh, camera one you will record the camera channel you click it and then it will uh, uh, record the channel and if you have PTC activation like camera so that you can move uh, if you click that that will move the camera towards uh, that okay and SMD deteriorants uh, camera one enable I put a person uh, for the camera one and if you choose Two, I put vehicle because that's a vehicle notification on the tree, so I want a uh, notification. And then you set area, so you can set the area, rule two, rule added, and you can set the area that I want notification. So this is my area where I'm going to have the, <coughs> you know, the uh, vehicle. If your vehicle comes here, then I'm going to get notification. As you can see, this is the only way uh, where that I'm going to come, uh, the vehicle is going to come. That's why I have this area here. So that you can set the rule. If you want to add the rule added, you can add it uh, with a different color and then you could person or uh, vehicle. Okay. So those are the settings. And duration 10 second warning light. Yeah, I put it for strobe. So it will strobe it. Uh, actually, it's warning light, not strobe. If you want to strobe it, it will strobe it. But I put it for warning light so that uh, that light will, uh, at night, that light will eliminate, um, uh, illuminate. And uh, then you can see uh, what's happening over there. Uh, so that's that. And uh, then uh, back to uh, Active View. It's just if you want to view, you know, right now, uh, zoom in. And then if you want to re, uh, you know, uh, view it right now. But okay. Then you have warning. Uh, if you have no disk, so sometimes uh, this thing, the disk get corrupted once you get full. So sometimes if you want to show the message, and uh, when I'm going to click buzzer two, it will send email and all this enabled it. I apply it and then network. If you don't have a network, uh, you want to see the uh, buzzer. I'm going to click buzzer, enable it. Uh, network. If you lose network, it will send email, show message, and buzz it. Okay. And this one is even log. These are the even logs. If you want to play back, that's all the smart motions uh, that you get. So in safeguard, um, you don't need it. Face detection, like I said, uh, you enable and disable uh, and things like that. And um, yeah, let's say it's two, told you it's off. Three, it's on. Four is off and uh, yeah, and smart plan. Uh, the camera one not when smart features are enabled and I can will show in blue. Okay, so those are that and that's even settings Smart search if you want to search, um, you know, like um, uh, Specific specific event and things like that you can search that uh, So that's over here and if you want to back up some, uh, you know, you can plug uh, plug in uh, uh, What are you portable? Uh, hard drive or like a flash card and then you can uh, you know, copy that um, thing to your card. I um, mean, not the card, uh, SD, like I said, hard drive, and then you can use it. And these are network setting, account setting, storage. Um, um, pretty much okay. You know, I'm here to do just a short video just to show you how to set up the motion detection and all those things. That's why, uh, that's all I'm good doing. I'm just showing you, just watch inside, just a, a brief. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing new. It's all same. Anyone can figure it out. Uh, the only reason I did this video because it took me a long time to figure out what the heck is going on, why I'm getting some uh, nonsense uh, motion and things like that. That's why, you know, I want you to, uh, you know, configure it uh, properly. That's why I'm doing this video. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And uh, if you want to buy a Lorex, uh, go to Costco. They have the best deal. And uh, you can get one of these uh, for about uh, 700 bucks. Uh, and I'm going to come with another video soon. Uh, some different uh, uh, you know, subject uh, like that. So uh, please consider subscribing my channel so you will get a notification when I upload the uh, next video. And um, uh, comment it. If you have any question, please put a comment. I feel free and I'll uh, definitely uh, reply to that. And I'll see you with, uh, soon with another video. Till then, it's me, Aldo, signing off. Bye-bye.